It's coming, I swear. How's that weather today, huh? Nothing yet? Just a test. That's, we're just getting everything going. This is a vibe right now. I literally am standing in front of a camera, doing this. You know. Oh, are we about to start? Not yet. Oh, okay. Almost there. Did I, did I, did I do the sponsor? I did the sponsor, didn't I? Here's the sponsor. I wish this would start. But. How can people do the sponsor? Huh? Tell them how they can become a sponsor. How they can become a sponsor? Yeah, tell them how. You want me to tell them how they... Oh, they can They can become a sponsor of this? They can sponsor these. They can sponsor these? Yeah. And I'm going to act like I don't know that? Right now? <laughs> this is a great idea. Okay, so, did you know you can become a sponsor of these live feeds? That's right. Just check out info at masinachamber.com. Send us an email if you're interested. We'll send you some information. Thank you for tuning in. I, I see... Thank you for tuning in. I, I see you guys are all adding in there. This is a test right now. We're getting our bearings together. Hey, did you check out this sponsor right here? They're gonna be helping out this time. How about this sponsor? Huh? And always check out MessinaChamber.com. It's just a test. We'll be with you in a short moment. Any second now. It's coming, I swear. How's that weather today, huh? 
Nothing yet? Just a test. That's, we're just getting everything going. This is a vibe right now. I literally am standing in front of the camera doing this. You know. Oh, are we about to start? Not yet. Oh, okay. Almost there. Did I, did I, did I do the sponsor? I did the sponsor, didn't I? Oh, here's the sponsor. <sighs> Wish this would start. <laughs> but. How can people do the sponsor? Huh? Tell, tell them how they can become a sponsor. How they can become a sponsor? Yeah, tell them how. You want me to tell them how they, oh, they can, they can become a sponsor of this? They can sponsor these. They can sponsor these? Yeah. And I'm going to act like I don't know that? Right now? <laughs> this is a great idea! Okay, so, did you know you can become a sponsor of these live feeds? That's right, just check out info at masinachamber.com. Send us an email if you're interested. We'll send you some information. Thank you for tuning in. I, I see you guys are all adding in there. This is a test right now. We're getting our bearings together. Hey, did you check out this sponsor right here? They're going to be helping out this time. How about this sponsor? Huh? And always, check out masinachamber.com. It's just a test. We'll be with you in a short moment. Any second now. It's coming, I swear. How's that weather today, huh? Nothing yet? Just a test. That's, we're just getting everything going. This is a vibe right now. I literally in front of the camera doing this. You know. Oh, are we about to start? Not yet. Oh, okay.
Recreation Commission, Mr. Shays. Uh, not to report this time. I recommend me to be next to Street Committee, Mr. Offeld, Mr. Levere. Nothing to report. We are out working on potholes in case anybody has it. If they have one that we're missing, have them call public works. Water and Sewer Committee, Mr. Offeld, Mr. Levere. Nothing to report. <coughs> Initial public comment period, as always, we ask you to please stand and state your name for the record. Initial public comment period. I know, I know Dave Gould has got something he wants to say. This is the time for you to say it, Dave, if you're going to Yeah, yeah Dave Gould, good morning, everybody. And uh, I'm just wondering who sent this guy out at 5 o'clock in the morning to push dirt up higher in that pile they got out there many piles you know yeah. and it's not only that one day this is a couple weeks ago and the thing is when they wake you up at that time you can't go back to sleep and me it bothers me a couple days okay. you know, so. i'll talk with the superintendent yeah it's a bunch of crap because it's nothing in emergency type dealings you know so. you told this was last week uh, about a week or so ago okay but <clears throat> other times they've been out there at three o'clock in the morning doing what? Nothing. Just driving around, pushing a little bit of snow here or there. It can be done in five minutes some other time, you know. <clears throat> but uh, five o'clock in the morning is <clears throat> on call for. You know, it's not an emergency what they're doing. They're shoving that pile up all day long, and some guy decides to go out there at five o'clock in the morning, push it up a little higher. For what reason? Valid concern. Okay, Pam Barkley. It's with a C L A Y in case you're gonna print it. Uh, <laughs> I'm shocked at the piles and piles behind Dave Golden's house and Pat Ferguson's house. They're higher. It, it's like just like you said, in the middle of the night they appear. They're higher than the homes down there. Sand, gravel, dirt, yeah, yeah dirt. dirt. And <clears throat> what about the berm that we were all promised? And you talk about prevailing winds. I know right where they're going to prevail. It's right in Ferguson's pool. It'll be full. I was. I'm totally shocked because I mean I walk my dog every day down through there, and all of a sudden there they are. There's about five of them. Yeah, at least, at least five. four for sure. At least five. And just like he said, they appeared almost overnight. And I know at 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm down the road further, but I can hear them. Bang after bang after bang after bang. I know, I know you had a job to move whatever you had to move. But with all the land that you had, did it have to be right? With what is your house? Second house, third house? Yeah, fourth. The, the three first three houses, four or five houses down there. I mean, you had all kinds of land. Get that field right out front. I don't know. It's, I'm it's sure that they didn't put it there because it would blow towards the office. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know we listened to you, and we thought we could trust you. <laughs> and I thought you probably had a plan too, but I think you need to keep working on it again, or still. Thank you. I just want to add, it's not, it's not a fact that we don't trust each other, we really do, you know. What we really need to get across to the whole board is the amount of what these people are putting up with over there, it's just ridiculous. It That's what we're complaining about. You know, and if we, we they call hops, we should have called hops, okay? You call them, and what happens? They'll say, okay, you're doing this or whatever, and then before you know it, we're, things are happening over on our street just because we're complaining. Certain things like noise, so if you complain, then you get more noise. And that's ridiculous. I mean, this is child cat play, which is ridiculous. So they really need to... You know, employees really need to take consideration of the residents over there. That is a residential area over there. And please treat us like one. That's all we're saying. And I'd like to add my two cents on Diane Meyer. I also live on the drive and line with these people. And we were told countless times that there was going to be like 200 feet of trees between where they were piling all of this stuff 
and the backyards of the people that are further down the street than I am. There's no 200 feet of trees. There were a lot more trees there before they started cutting them down. But that's another thing. The, they've been cutting trees down that would be blocking some of this. But uh, it's, uh, it is, it's getting ridiculous. And like everybody says, you can hear it anytime during the night. And that's with our windows closed. I can imagine what it's going to be in the spring when we can start having our windows open because it'll wake you up out of a sound sleep now. And that the beep, beep, beep as the trucks back up and all of that kind of stuff, we hear it all night long. So I just wish you'd drive down and take a look. Take a look for yourselves, yeah. please. Yeah. It really is. It's getting ridiculous. You know, another another thing, uh, through the grapevine, we're hearing that, well, nobody's complaining anymore and crap like that. So we're going to put it over there anyways. So. Well, I know why do, you had why do we have it. to come to every meeting to complain? I let go on record that my all of the thing I've complained about is there for permanently. Yeah. You know, just keep looking, keep thinking of us, and thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Further public Old business discussion establish a public hearing. Date revisions to chapter 270, 270 taxi cabs of the general code. Mr. LeBeer, you had some suggestions earlier in the week via the email. Yeah, um, we had great turnout the last time, and there were some concerns raised by some of the business owners and employees, um, specifically to the age requirement for vehicles, um, and then also suggestion of drug testing employees. Um, personally, I think there's a, a good balance that can be struck between the needs of the code and protection, but also being responsible to the business owners and making it feasible for them to continue to operate successfully. Um, I'm throwing out the idea of making it from 10 years to increasing it to 12. Um, I think during the conversation, I think Trustee Carbo had asked him a couple of questions about what year car he normally buys, how long he keeps them, and doing some quick math, it looks like a 12-year time frame would probably resolve a bulk of the issues that you raised with um, the frequency required for cars and um, so, <laughs> so I throwing it out for the discussion um, in terms of I certainly um, would be interested in raising that up from 10 to 12. Um, we also talked about inspection frequency. I'm open on that. Um, once a year is fine with me if it's 12. We want to do it twice a year. Um, don't want to be a burden to uh, chief or police who are going to potentially having to be tasked with administering this. So um, if we keep it once a year, I mean, state says it's safe to drive. I think we'd be okay. And personally, I'm also open to the drug testing, and I was uh, curious if we could put in the code language that the cost of it be um, bared by the employer. That way there we, we prevent any scenario where someone's out of work, doesn't have a lot of money, um, the 50 to $100 for a drug test may be an unbearable cost for that individual, whereas we heard from one of the main uh, employers that he, he thinks it be a responsible employer for, you know, thing to do is to, to pay for it. So it didn't sound like it'd be that much of a burden on the employers. I'll uh, probably save them money long term by avoiding any problematic employees. So those are my thoughts. I don't know. I think that covered basically the, the high level items that they talked about. And I agree with you on it. 10 to 12, I think uh, Mr. Zacharakis had said that. He was in the 2004 to 2006 range of his vehicles, um, phasing the fours out. Yeah. That would, uh, and I, I'm almost positive I heard him say 12 would be 12 would be a better number. So, yeah, I think he would prefer 15 if he was writing himself, but 12 at least gives him mm -hmm. some buffer on the other owners as well. Mm -hmm. As far as the drug testing, I think that's a super idea. Um, and the inspections, uh, you know, I think at first get very aggressive and said every quarter. I think I believe in the inspections where they are, and we don't want to burden our people with any, any more of that task. So. The state continues to get more aggressive with their inspections, anyways. So, mm -hmm. right. I don't know if you guys. So, 
So make the changes and we'll bring it up at the next meeting. Make the changes, we'll establish the new public hearing at the next meeting for the following meeting. Yep. Give us time to make sure the language is right, alert them so they can come and take, give us any input before we put the final language. Perfect. Sure. New business proposed resolution approves shared service agreement with New York State DOT. Second. Mr. Lebeer, second by Mr. Rothfeld. Discussion. This is our standard uh, annual resolution for the shared service DOT. <coughs> resolution of Poland Grizzly. Mr. Rothfeld. Aye. Mr. Carl. Aye. Mr. Deshaies. Aye. Mr. Lebeer. Aye. Resolution. Appointment of Reverend Dr. Joel Brick, Village of Messina Planning Board Commission. <coughs> so moved. Mr. Rothfeld. Second. Second by Mr. Carl. Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Curious. Accept notice of retirement. Cynthia Bain, submitted dispatch. Yeah, um, last week I was informed by uh, Cindy Bain that uh, effective June 3rd, uh, she would like to retire. Cindy was the first uh, our first um, full-time dispatcher that was hired at our police department. And I'd like to thank her for her years of service that she get, gave us. Our dispatchers are an asset to the village. She will be sorely missed, and I wish her the best for her, uh, um, to her next adventure. So, so second. Mr. Lebeer, second by Mr. Oppo. Discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Authorization to canvas to make a stretcher. Chief. I just asked the village if uh, they would allow me to canvas uh, for a dispatcher. It allows me proper time to pick the right candidate, have that candidate um, brought to the village board to ask for the be hired. So moved. Second. Second by Mr. Carvel. Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Voucher warrants. I move that the voucher signed by Trustee Carvel and myself be approved. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carvel. Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Monthly reports. You have the volunteer fire department and fire departments in front of you. Communications correspondence. I have none. Trustees? Yeah, at the, um, in the St. Lawrence County Treasurer work and workers' compensation claim liability. Do we know how much ours went up by? Uh, it wasn't significant. Okay. I asked that question, I don't remember, but it didn't startle me, so. It's a good sign. Yeah. Thanks. Closing public comment period. Mr. Gray. Sean Gray, 56 East River Street. I work in the Rico for 21st Street. What I had read about that before was there were the bump outs and crosswalks. Will that be something to be automatic, or will businesses have to apply for that? I'll uh, just explain to you real quick why. Um, we're going to be putting the marquee back up in the theater, and before it was taken down here, I whacked a few times my delivery truck. Some tractor trailers going by, and I'm just curious if there's going to be a um, It wouldn't be automatic. Um, we'll be forming a committee. The, the completion policy um, calls for the formation of committee. We'll be forming it very soon. And they will actually be looking for a couple of test projects. So any business organization interested, um, definitely contact me and or the mayor, and um, we can proceed from there. Um, there. There's some potential small funding available from uh, other entities that may assist us with any projects. But it doesn't call for automatic bump belts at certain locations or anything. Will those be the responsibility of the business owner, or will that be part of the it's it's not even a responsibility. It's more of these are th these are design standards and ideas that we want to keep in mind as we're doing projects, and we encourage private entities to do it as well. So we, we made sure not to make it an imposition on those who may not want or have the means to immediately do something, but for those who may be interested, uh, we'll gladly work with and, and see what's out there. I guess just to follow, there will be a component that the business may be asked to pay for part of that. No. Oh, no. Okay. No. Okay. Very good. No. Okay. Thank you. Further public comment. What does bump out mean? Is, is that the is that the phrase? Did I hear that correctly? Bump so out? You're, you're approaching where a, a cross.
crosswalk would be. Okay. The, cur the best way I can describe it, the curb is actually bumped out. Oh, so it's like, a, flower like a bottleneck. So you have vehicles parked close to the crosswalk, so it's more visibility for vehicular traffic to see pedestrian traffic. I can send you a couple of examples if you like, because there's permanent bump belts and there's also temporary bump belts. Okay, I think that answered my question. Thank you. Question, any questions from the media? We do need an executive session regarding, regarding collective bargaining. I do not anticipate that we will take action. I thought I did. <laughs>